Now let's talk about the various kinds of media that are used in airbrush. Two major categories are oil or solvent based and water based. The oil based stuff is used especially for automotive airbrush and I'm not going to do any of that today but everything I talk about can be done with oil based. In the water based paints there are still several different categories. One is uh, here's a Createx Auto Air made especially for signs and outdoor use but it's water based and of course then there's the a whole line of several different lines of paint that are used for textiles. This is Dr. P.H. Martin's Ready Tex. There are other brands out there as well. I'm going to focus in on two basic kinds of water-based paints for illustration and they are transparent and opaque and it's very important that you understand the difference between these two when you begin to airbrush because they behave in very different ways so you need to understand. Let me grab a couple samples. Here's a, a Aeroflash color and golden airbrush color. They're both transparent and uh, they're both uh, very excellent paints. I happen to prefer, just for what it's worth, the, the, the top that's on this kind because believe it or not, sometimes when you're airbrushing and you open up this, a drop of paint gets on that and you close it and the paint goes spattering out that way. Just for what it's worth, that would never happen to you, but it's happened to me more than once. Uh, I do want to give one particular recommendation to possibly the best white opaque airbrush paint and that is made by Badger. It's called Badger Aeropaque and I'm sure that there are many others that are, have perhaps as, as good in a, a white as Badger but that's an old standby for me that I've been using for years and years and works very well. Um, the difference between an, a transparent paint and an opaque Pick one. I'll demonstrate it very quickly. Just two drops of this. What color is it? Quinacridone red here. I just want to give you a a real quick demonstration. So those are three hazy circles of red. Then when you put another color on top of that, I'll pick uh, Hansa yellow medium. When I put yellow on top of that, we get a real nice orange but you see that the yellow does not cover up the red underneath it just adds a color on top of that. Now there's several things I want to mention about airbrushing since I've started actually using it on the DVD. One is how do you change colors? How do you clean from one color to another? Let me recommend very quickly, first of all, you need to have some kind of uh, vapor trap mist catching device. They're, they, they, you can buy one on a, in a catalog, you can go to an art store and buy a, a fancy gizmo that's basically a, a canister with a very, uh, some kind of filter in it and a place where the air comes up. You can see that I didn't buy this one, I made it myself out of a box of Kleenex. Um, the Kleenex has an excellent plastic on top that keeps most of the vapors from coming out. This Kleenex box is about half full stuffed with Kleenex and I cut out a number of holes around the bottom so that when I spray into here almost all the overspray is being captured by the Kleenex in the box. Get it? So now this airbrush now is clean. I'm going to use another tissue just to wipe out the cup in the top and it's clean and I'm ready to add another color. Let me put a, this is phthalo blue, just one drop of phthalo blue into there and again do blue on top of my pink. At one point it was, there you go, it was purple for a second then it went past purple. Now the thing about transparent color it is the longer you do it, the darker it gets. Darker and darker and darker and of course here in the middle I'll be in danger of causing it to run if I'm not careful. You get the idea. That's the, the beauty of transparent color is really vibrant intense colors. The danger of or the difficulty 
of transparent colors is that it's really easy to go past the line and you can't back up. So that's where opaque colors come in. Now you can either uh, buy a set of opaque colors. Golden has a, a, a set very much like this, but instead of transparent, they are opaque. But here's another trick that I'll let you in on right now. You can take all of your transparent colors and add just a drop or two of white to them, and now you have an opaque color. I'm stirring that in the cup with a brush. Rinse out the brush in water. And now I'll do opaque. So I can go now on top of that blue. And you see how it pretty much covers up the blue? And that word pretty much is a pretty important distinction, isn't it? So there are several things that you can do with opaque airbrush paints that you can't do with transparent. It's kind of like the difference if you're an artist between watercolor and oil painting. Watercolor is transparent. Everything shows up. And when you use transparent paints, everything shows up. You can't cover it up unless you go to an opaque paint. Mm -hmm.